The world has come to agree that sustainable development can only be achieved when every entity, like parts of a body, play its part. The responsibility to behave ethically and with the consciousness of the impact of our activities does not lie solely with one entity. Strengthening our local economy in such a way that the local economy itself can take advantage of an extra border foray into investment in other territories. To build the local for the global, you suddenly have to build the local for the local. There are very important questions we need to ask ourselves as a country. If we want um, to ensure sustainability, uh, what does that mean? Um, how do we manage our resources in a way that, you know, um, is sustainable uh, for our people, for the environment, uh, for the overall well-being of our country? Only indigenous companies are willing to take the kind of risk locally for Nigerians. I'm so happy you mentioned that for many years, you, NMPC and the government have tried to speak to the IOCs and other foreign companies, but they have not shown interest. And the honest truth is this, the refinery business is a Naira dominated business. What you sell is a Naira. When you, when, I mean, you buy your feedstock in dollar, which is the food, but what you're selling, your protein product is, in, is Naira. Most, they might not say it, but most of the IOCs are not interested in receiving Naira that they cannot repatriate again. I think it's a very well organized conference and it's hitting on a lot of important issues. So yesterday we looked at the role of the oil and petroleum sector, which has a storied history in Nigeria, uh, also a lot of issues it faces, whether it can lead to broader based uh, growth, development, job creation. And now today we're looking at solid minerals, which is more my line of work, and we're looking at how this can grow and contribute to more jobs in Nigeria. Uh, as you know, it's uh, it's at quite a small percentage of GDP, less than 1% uh, compared with in the past, and it's interesting to see how this can you know, grow and develop. The Minister for Mines was here this morning, and um, we have also been duly updated on what is happening within that sector, so it's, it's been a very um, interesting uh, event. Finally, I want to thank again our sponsors. I want to thank um, NMPC, ITO, Lafarge, Access Bank, Ford Foundation, and CDMB. And then, yes, our partners, Pandev. Pandev, you've been wonderful. I I'd like to appreciate the associations as well. MAN, Petan, NMGS. Zenera Consulting is a close partner. The Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources. We thank the Federal Ministry of Mines and Steel Development as well. Most importantly, NATI. NATI has been an ongoing partner, but we would really appreciate closer partnership um, with those in the mining sector. Thank you again, everyone, for being here. You have been a wonderful host.